I like digital pets. Hey guys, Alex here and welcome to another video. So last year I did a video on this little guy here. Now this is a 20th anniversary Tamagotchi, I think it's the 20th anniversary main Tamagotchis, like the original, whatever they call them. I did a video on this guy, he's since gone flat and um, he normally just sits on my shelf now. Um, a year before that I did a video on the little Tamagotchis, um, insert name below right now. And, well, obviously he's gone flat as well, but today, today guys, it is a big exciting day because I finally got my hands on Digimons. I finally got my hands on some Digimons, guys. Um, I live in Australia. When these came out many months ago, I'm very behind on this video. When these came out many, many months ago, uh, they were only available for pre-order at a very few select stores. And I didn't realize that pre-order wasn't just a, you get them early. Pre-order was you pre-order to get them and secure your spot to have one or you miss out. And I didn't realize that what pre-orders was for these particular things, and I missed out. But the other week, I saw them. I put them on layby because I didn't have much money that day. I picked them up today, and here they are. So these are the, if I'm not mistaken, the 20th anniversary Digimons, which are very similar to Tamagotchis. They, they are what they are, you know? They morph, they do their things, they... The virtual pets. They are Tamagotchis basically, just with Digimon form. Now, I'm pretty sure I stated in one of my older videos, this is like a third video on virtual pets, guys, that I have these original guys from the uh, early 2000s, I think these are. Early 2000s, give or take, uh, yep. Now, unfortunately, I don't have batteries to fit these. These need like uh, LR44 button batteries and I went through all the batteries I had and they were all really like old and not in good condition. So over the next few days for the next video because this is the unboxing video of these guys but in the next video which I will be doing like the first life cycle growing them up, battling them up and I'm going to get these guys batteries tomorrow I hope. So that way I'll have four of these running. <laughs> I'm going to go insane but I'm going to have four of these running and I'm going to see if the old generation, these guys, will be able to connect to the new generation of these guys. Um, although these aren't necessarily old or new generations, these are the 20th anniversary edition ones. I'm pretty bloody sure that's what they're called. And these are the original back in the early 2000s edition. I think these guys are from the 2000s. It is the 2000s. Maybe these weren't the original originals. These are a couple of generations later. How old am I? What year are we in? But the plan still remains the same. We're going to grow both of these lots up. The new ones today we're going to start up in this video. These old ones are going to start up in the next couple of days and they will follow on and be presented to you guys in the uh, battle age, progression, raised, generation, whatever we're calling it, uh, video for them. So that's that's the plan on what we're doing. But anyway, we're going to get into this unboxing because I've been yammering on for a long time. Now I've got to find a, a knurf. Listen carefully, try not to slice my fingers open. That is the yellow one. This is the grey one. They didn't have many colour selections. They had the red and this is the reddish kind of brown color and they did have a blue but I I want these colors so all right this is exciting uh, inside the box we've got a rather a rather large instruction booklet uh, we've got a black blank kind of gives you the background thing and I do remember on the very original boxes, they did have like a little opening door thing um, on the front of the box. They don't have that on this one, but they do have the original key lock thing, which was pretty cool. The uh, directions are the company is not responsible for loss of data. If you drop it or use unnecessary force, it could break. And don't whoop, get them wet. Don't put them in the pool. Don't put them in the bath or in the shower or anything like that. Oh, you can name them. That's that's different. Anyway, back to the thing. Here we go. We've got the plastic containment thing. Okay, and oh, here it is. 
Now I'm not going to pull the tab just yet. I'm going to make sure that the camera is sitting on it when we pull the tab because uh, that's the exciting part. On this one though, we do have a little um, little uh, spring-loaded keychain thing. On the old ones, they were just a, a, a ring, which is a little annoying as a teenager wanting to hang it on your belt or your bag or whatever. And you couldn't because they didn't have these. So anyway, um, they have a, the other ones have a, let's just compare them all now. The other ones have a double, uh, if we can focus now, please have a double screw system for the little panel where the new one is just a single screw at the bottom. And it looks like it's kind of sunken in and it looks like maybe it's got a decent quality screw because all the other ones are threaded. All right. So that's the gray guy. He's unplugged. He's instruction booklet. I don't know what these are actually going to be. I, um, I, I haven't done any research on this. I was never a fan of the Digimon series, the cartoon or the anime or whatever you guys want to call it. Um, but I, I, I like digital pets. So it's a 90s thing, I think. I don't know. It could just be a weird thing, a me thing. Who knows? But the yellow one. Um, also got an instruction booklet in the back. Same deal. I think these are going to be identical evolutions. Um, but yeah, they feel pretty solid. There's a different yellow one. So we've got the, the 2000s one and the 20 whatever's one. What are we in now? 2019 one. I'm assuming they're going to connect in. I'm. If you guys didn't know, maybe you guys didn't know, but the little pins on the end here and here, if you can focus and stay focused, um, they connect in screen to screen and you kind of just put the pin in the pin peg bit and they connect like that. And when you're battling, uh, they, they fight like in real time, you can see them fighting from each other. So that's how they work. So being the same system, I'm hoping that the old ones and the new ones will be able to connect the same way, the same systems and all that. It's, it's going to be a, a trial and error because as I said, I haven't done any research on these guys. I just know that they're extremely expensive to buy online from Australia, like from overseas to Australia. And they're also very, very hard to come by. So yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and set up a spot and we're going to, we're going to set these guys up. So, um, I will be back. Alrighty guys, we are about to pull the tabs up. So we're going to pull this on first and I think I have to set the time up before we do anything, but here we go. Oh, yep. 20th anniversary. Well, that's pretty cool. They put that in there. Um, all right. I sort of want to get them at the same time. I like that. That says 20th Digimon 20th. Oh, I can name it. Okay. What do I name it? Alrighty. So we can name this whatever we want. I don't know what to name it. I'm assuming we're going to go up one and okay. Oops. Okay. So we can only go forward through the names. So let's name this one Z. It's got to be four digits. So oh, I went past it. Ah, I went past it again. It's okay. We'll do a different name on this one. So I don't go past it already. All right, Zag, and I'll name the other one Zig. All right, so we've got this one. We've got the I, finally. I went past it twice on this two, and I just went past the G. All right, we're done. Oh, the head king. And he's alive. All right, let me feed this little guy. That didn't take long at all. Now, let's see the settings. Oh, it tells you what his name is, too. Like, what Digimon he is. He's a Botamon. Bot Botamon? 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 All right. Um, yep. Cool. Okay. That's age. And I think that's grams. Maybe hungry strength effort. Oh, efforts new. I don't remember effort. Um, I don't remember DP either wins. I think we had that percentage, but, uh, the S wasn't there. The T wasn't there. All right. Food. Yep, we've got candy or a pill. So we're going to go candy, we're going to go pill, pill, candy. All right. Um, the next one was games. Oh, we're hatching. Uh, 
I don't know what I'm doing there for the game. He's not happy with me. Okay. Um, then we had trophies. No, he's not ready to battle. They have to be like adults to battle. Uh, that one is either toilet or discipline or something like that. And we got your lights off. No, it doesn't want to do anything. Uh, that's band aid or well, medical books. Stock record name. Did you? What's stock? I don't know what stock means. These are all different settings. His name is Zag. Or maybe I can go through the different variations he's had. I don't know any of that. We will read the instructions in a minute. And I don't know what this is. Oh, this battle. Okay, that's the battle. We can't do that until he's older. All right, what's his stats? Okay. All right, we'll look out the other one. Oh, it looks like they've got a power saver mode. That'll be handy because these guys don't have that. All right. He's still a bot bottom on, whatever they call it. Um, same deal. Um, and yeah, that'll be all the same and the rest of it. Made a mess. Okay, let's... Is that the cleaning? Yes, that's how you clean him. Okay. These are way easier to click than the uh, Tamagotchi ones from last year. These were having, I was having a lot of trouble pressing these in. So I don't know whether it's the location or what's going on there. All right, guys. So as you just saw on the, uh, the, the, start up the birth of these uh digimons um the settings are a little bit different from the original ones so particularly the name i never got to name the original ones and the uh, actual like species of what uh evolution the uh, digimon is in at the moment i was gonna say pokemon there for a minute not quite <laughs> but um yeah so it's very very different kind of setup for that but it's i'm liking it for having played it for seven minutes um, I probably will get a little bit annoyed with them just a little bit because you know I'm an adult now and I've got my own like animals and stuff to look after so I can't like devote my entire attention to these one thing I do love is the power saver mode I didn't know that was a thing but the screens go off when you're not playing with them and that is really really good I'm really liking that I'm just cry I'm trying to Flick through the um, instructions a little bit more just to figure out. Now the um, icons on there were health, feeding, training, the Digivice battle, toilet, which was E at the end of the top. And then you got uh, lights turning on off. You can put him to sleep or wake him up. Um, medical attention, album, images of your Digimons. Okay, they didn't have that originally either, at least not on the other one I had. So they have like photos of different generations of what you've had, so you can go back and look at them. That's a cool idea. Two Digimon, uh, Digivice communications, which in theory was battle, at least it was battle back in my day, and uh, alerts, like if it needs attention and stuff like that. These are the settings under the original thing. You've got Digimon name, which is what his name is, four digit name, uh, four character name. Um, his age and weight. Oh, it's growth, not grams, I think. Uh, his hunger. His strength. When he becomes stronger, he gets more hearts. Hungry, full, no longer hungry. You know, the standard. Uh, effort is training your Digimon four times will fill one heart of effort. DP, the more bars highlighted, the better your Digimon will battle. Now, back in the day on my original ones, uh, we didn't have effort, but we had a little bar. It didn't say DP, I don't think. And maybe it did, I can't remember. They did have a bar, and when he got up to battling stages, um, that bar would fill up and it will be stronger. The bigger the bar, the stronger he was. Um, so that's pretty much what DP means. Uh, single battle win percentage. Oh, that's what S means. Percentage wins. And... Uh, Oh, someone's needing me. Excuse me. Alrighty, so they uh, they beep, and then their screen turns back on when they're needing attention. So he just crapped himself. Um, the other one has done two. Two twos. Alright, that's clean now too. 
Okay, so back to the uh, effort. Okay, and um, tag battle win percentage is what T means in percentages. So that's all of those kind of settings. Um, feeding, we already know how to feed him. Um, training. So the wall blocking training game thing, and I think they're both the same on that. When the exclamation point icon appears, press A repetitively. And then he, he was unhappy with that. <laughs> All right, so when the battle begins, you press A when the exclamation point goes up and your little thing does that, and then he does that, and oh, I got the wall down, I think. Is he happy? Yay, okay, so that's how battle works. To fight with... Oh, we're evolving already. All right, so what's this guy now? He's a Koromon. All right. And now it does say on here, guys, back onto the battling, um, battle copy, select communication, battle or copy, 20th or other. Select a Digivice, 20th or other. You can select between another one or another 20th edition one. So that's good. I like that. I like that potentially gives you hope that it can connect to the originals. You would think that they would allow it. But they have updated a lot of things in this compared to what I remember as a sweet tiny child. And you can select different Digimon eggs apparently. When you receive a new Digimon egg, oh you receive a new one, I'm, I'm a little maybe out of touch with the whole story side of things. When your Digimon is hungry, low on protein, or when it's time for bed, it will make an alert sound. Thank you for that dead and left you and okay so when they die they leave you an egg to hatch again although I always just thought that that was like a restart maybe it was maybe it wasn't um you can go a and b together or select the egg to hatch within a minute uh certain conditions are met you will have more eggs to select from okay so there's different eggs to select from so I will assuming I don't have any deaths in the family focus on these guys for the next couple of evolutions, generations, uh, whatever attempts, and um, I will, when one of them dies, I will try and get different eggs and stuff like that, so we'll, we'll see how we go with all that. Uh, approximate time between stages. Okay, so we've got infancy, and then 10 minutes later you've got infancy 2, which is what they're at right now. Um, the newborn Digimon isn't ready for battle. Yeah, we knew that. If they're asleep, they do not evolve. Good to know. Uh, within six hours, so six hours from now, which they'll probably be asleep, so sometime tomorrow morning probably, uh, it'll be a rookie, so it'll be one of two strong enough to battle and communicate with other Digi devices. So by tomorrow, we'll have the beginning of our Digimon battles, I think, if all goes well. In 24 hours, you have a champion, um, and they've got strong battle attack. 36 hours, you've got the ultimate, uh, will evolve under certain conditions, and 48 hours, you've got a mega, and uh, stronger than the ultimate form, even harder conditions than the ultimate form. But I don't know how long they live for. Oh, there's a special secret. Ooh. Under certain conditions, you may get a special Digimon egg. Digimons hatch from special eggs will evolve into stronger. Digimons raise him as you would a normal Digimon to increase your chances of receiving a special egg. Raise your Digimon well, then battle and share your Digimons. Okay, some ultimate Digimons can grow especially strong when the Digi device is connected to another di Digi device. Okay, so these two are going to be connected, so hopefully that is what they mean there. Alright, so I'm not quite sure how much of me reading the instructions that I've left in this video, but as we go for the next video, because this is only the unboxing and the birth, and I'm going to be following on a video from now until whenever but um i will also go through certain things of this like trying to get eggs sharing stock and a bunch of other things that i just quickly skimmed over the instructions with um they're kind of new things to me or at least new knowledge for me that i've never knew from the original ones because the original ones were just base tamagotchis they were you raise them you train them and then you can connect and battle them and that was it and then they died and then they started again 
that, that was the, the the general idea of that and Tamagotchis and all those other kind of virtual pets that they had there. These ones seem to be a little bit more complex with the whole you can got got like a family tree like photo album of your past Digimons and uh, you can train them and then you can trade them and connect them and do a heap of other things instead of just battling them. So that's going to be interesting. We're going to learn what all of that is together. But for now, I think I'm going to wrap this video up because it's been a little bit longer than I think I hoped it to be. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I know this video, the, the whole Digimon thing is very, very late in the year because obviously they have been out for quite a while now. But I couldn't get my hands on them, but now I have. So here we are. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And unlike last time with the Tamagotchi where I said I was going to do like extra videos and stuff like that, I had a death in the family. My dog died. And I just, I, I didn't feel like paying attention to a digital pet at the time. But cross fingers, everything goes well. And we will have many videos of Digimons if you guys like them. I will see if you guys like them because you'll be hitting the like button. You'll be subscribing to my channel for more. You'll be commenting and viewing the actual video itself. So... Let me know how you guys think and feel about me doing more videos of these and more like progression videos and timeline and vlog, whatever we're calling them. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to link at the end in the boxes and all that stuff, uh, the Tamagotchi videos and the one, I think the original Tamagotchi video, the one with the little 20th anniversary one is the one that I talked about all my other digital pets so I'll probably repeated a heap of stuff that I said from that one in this one but anyway I'm going to link that so if you guys want to go check that out but until next time guys be good to people and I will catch you all in the next video see ya